In this video, we're going to be looking at how to determine the initial acid concentration if you have the Ka and the pH. A student labeled the beaker nitrous acid but neglected to include the concentration. The pH of the solution is 2.6. What is the concentration of the acid? So because nitrous acid is a weak acid, we can't just work backwards from the pH directly. We're going to have to use the Ka value for the acid to figure out the concentration. So our first step is going to be to write the ice table for the ionization of nitrous acid. So when nitrous acid is in water, it's going to donate a proton to water to form nitrite, NO2 minus, that's its conjugate base, and hydronium. So ICE, uh, so the information that we uh, know is really nothing in this chart so far. Um, we're going to call the initial concentration of HNO2X, um, and we're going to be able to find the change in just a second, but we're going to need to do a little bit of math to get there. So the only thing we know is that we're not going to use the concentration of water at all, and that we start with zero for both hydronium and nitrite. So we're going to be able to find the concentrations of hydronium and nitrate uh, at equilibrium because they are going to be equal. So because they both have a coefficient of 1, the concentration of nitrate will equal the concentration of hydronium. And we can find the concentration of hydronium using the pH. So our concentration of hydronium is going to equal 10 to the minus pH. Because our pH is 2.6, that will be 10 to the minus 2.6, giving us 2.5, so we get two significant digits from our pH because there's two decimal places, 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. So we can now fill that in for our change and for our equilibrium concentration of these two species. So the change for uh, nitrous acid will be the same magnitude, just negative. And so our equilibrium concentration that we'll be solving for is x minus 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3. And we're going to use our KEQ expression to solve for this. So we're going to plug this into KEQ, or sorry, KA. So Ka is going to equal our conjugate base concentration, so nitrite times hydronium divided by nitrous acid. So this will equal 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter squared divided by x minus 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3. And we can look up the Ka of nitric, nitrous acid, which is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 4. So to solve for x, we're going to rearrange this equation. And we're going to do that by multiplying both sides by this denominator, and then dividing both sides by the Ka value. So our final rearranged equation is going to look like this. So x will equal 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 squared, so that's our original numerator, divided by 5.6 times 10 to the minus 4, that's our Ka value, and then we're going to add 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3, and the reason that we do that is that x is our initial concentration and the entire denominator is our equilibrium concentration. So to get our initial concentration, this will solve for equilibrium concentration and then we add the change, um, or we subtract the change I suppose, to get back to our initial concentration. So that's going to equal 0.014 moles per liter or you could write it as 1.4 times 10 to the minus 2 
moles per liter. Really important to make sure that you add the change in. Um, the reason is that if we didn't add the change in, we would just get our equilibrium concentration, which is 1.1 or 1.1 times 10 to the negative 2. Um, so in order to make sure you have the exact right answer, make sure that you're actually including the change in this calculation.